What's going on guys? Today we're going to be installing the Magpul Enhanced Trigger Guard on an AR-15. So the things you're going to need to do this are a punch, a hammer, and a Allen key which is included with your Magpul Trigger Guard. So, first things first, we've got a push pin and a roll pin, okay? The push pin, just take your punch, push down on it, give a little pull, it's gonna snap right out, okay? Now the roll pin, that's where you're gonna need to use a little force. You have to take your punch, line it up, and you wanna smack it with your hammer, giving it light taps to get it started, okay? We're gonna flip it over because it's kind of already started on this side here. So if you wanna find a punch that's gonna fit in there, nicely. I'm, I'm sure there's an appropriate size, but I have no clue. I just go through my punches and find the one that's going to work best. Okay. Before you do this, you're going to want to grab something. Got some towels. And just, just brace your AR to kind of absorb the force. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that you're not blocking where that pin's going to need to come out of. So just take our punch. It's going to drive right out. Oh, almost. There we go. So that's that. You want to make sure you're not going to lose your, your things. Yeah, you're not going to lose the push pin because there's another little um, little bitty roll pin that's holding that in. And just kind of stick it back in there. Set it to the side. Okay, now we're going to grab our Magpul Enhanced Trigger Guard. What you have are obviously your trigger guard. They supply their own roll pin. And instead of a push pin, this one actually has, it's a threaded um, screw. It's going to hold it in there. So you're going to take your, see which way it goes here. No, it goes this, no, I had it right the first time. Just slide it in there. Look at it to make sure it's lined up. We're gonna flip it over because it's probably best that we screw in the screw before we go to whacking on it, just so we know we got it somewhat lined up and in the game. So go ahead. Whoops. Go ahead and sit that in the hole. I made sure it was lined up. Just start twisting it and you'll feel it grab. Okay, once you get it down so far, you don't really have to torque this thing down too bad, but um, don't want it too loose in there. So, I'm just kind of going to. Just ensure that it's in there really good. And just a tad bit more. That's good. All right, there's the first part. Second part, grab your uh, roll pin. Look in here to see that we're lined up. I'm gonna grab a flashlight. Look through there, see if I can see an exit hole. All right, we're pretty good right there. get you started. Just kind of grab your hammer, kind of give it some taps. Once you get it decently far, you're not going to want to mar up your AR, so grab your punch. And you probably could beat it in real quick, but I'm trying to be, probably doesn't sound like I'm being easy, but I'm being kind of gentle with it. Almost got it. Once 
One more little tap, and we'll have it. All right, guys. That's good enough for me. Make sure that we're pretty even on both sides. So there you go, guys. That's how you install your trigger guard. It's on there, it's good. If you do get some scratches on there, as you can see, few on there, take some oil, rub it out. The other thing that works really good for these scratches, if you got a little Sharpie marker handy, just go ahead and fill it in with a Sharpie marker. I also use that on this right here as it deflects the bullets or the casings as they come out. Just kind of fill that in with Sharpie marker. You can't really see it. So that's our first video on the upgrades to our AR-15. Really like it. Stay tuned for the next part.